hello welcome back to my channel lumsy sews in today's sewing tutorial i'm going to show you how to cut and sew this booboo top with string by the side as you can see and with a fitted pant it's a very simple tutorial and is beginner friendly to my supporters thank you guys for always sharing my videos out and dropping your comments in the comment section i appreciate a whole lot to make this i'm going to be using this african fabric this i love the pattern the way it is i used five yards to make this i'm making the pants first so i've folded my fabric into four as you can see so this is the front and the one extended is the back first i'm going to take the length of the pants so here i'm going to take off two inches for band and start from there to take my measurements from there i'm going to take the crotch depth which is 12 inches and the knee line which is 22 inches and the length of the the pants so i'll go ahead and square this line out so this line is going to be my waistline now and then this is going to be the crotch length which is 12 inches next is my knee line which is 22 inches and then you already know my final length is 42 inches and i added two inches to that so i'll go ahead and make sure i square this line out on the back section two so this is the waistline the crotch depth the knee line and the final length next is to mark the circumference of the trousers so from the side seam i'm going to come in hips divided by four and mark it there and i'm going to add one inch for ease and one inch sewing allowance so here i'm adding two inches to this so i'm going to go ahead and mark the same line on the crotch area and then i'm going to go ahead and square this line and then from this line that i'm squaring out we are going to be marking the crotch extension so from here to here you're going to divide the hips divided by 16 whatever you have you're going to mark that here so i'm going to mark mine here this will be my crotch front crotch extension and i will come up from the crotch area two inches and connect it like this so this is my crotch extension next i'm going to measure i'm going to balance the trousers whatever i have here i'm going to divide that into two and that will be the center of the pants so you go ahead and square that on the hemline too and i'm going to square this up till the you can square it up to the waistline or the crotch that wherever so here is the line on this line we're going to mark the knee line on the knee line you're going to mark round your knee line whatever that is you're going to impute that here so divide it into two one on one side and the other on one side when you're taking your knee line measurements round knee measurement make sure you bend your leg so you can get the correct measurements of your knee line with ease that is what i have marked here and i added one inch sewing allowance also on the hemline you're going to also take the heel measurement whatever you have there you're going to divide that by two and you're going to mark it on each side remember to add one inch sewing allowance so i'll go ahead and connect this like this also connect the side And I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the crotch extension like that. And for the side seam, I'm going to connect it to the hip line. I'm sorry this went off camera, but you know I'm connecting connecting this to the hip line. So next from here, I'm going to get I'm going to get the waist circumference. So divide your waist by four 
whatever you have you're going to add two inches to that one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for that so I'll go ahead and mark it and I'm going to connect that like this so go ahead and add half inch joining allowance on the waistline and this is it for the front I'm cutting only the front so I'll just go ahead and cut only the front we we'll use this pattern to make the back so I'm going to go ahead I shifted the pattern can you see so from here I'm going to come in two and a half inches and extend it up two and a half inches at the back so that this will be able to accommodate the hips and from there I'm going to measure waist divided by four plus two inches and I'm going to connect that to this line so you mark it there wherever it stops you mark it there if you have noticed you will see i shifted my front pattern so that i'll be able to have some sewing allowance by the side for the back so here i'm going to mark this like this i already have half one inch there so i'm going to join it all the way down i added one inch all the way down also for the crotch extension from the front i'm going to mark 2.5 inches for my back crotch extension so i'll mark it and i'm going to connect that i'm so sorry this went off camera but i added 2.5 inches and i'm going to lift this up and draw the back curve connect it to the back like that also on the inside leg you're going to also add one inch to the side like this and connect it to the crotch extension so this is it i'm going to go ahead and cut that out and that will be it for the trouser i don't want this video to be too long so i'm not going to be sewing the trouser in this video I have a lot of videos on how I sew pant trousers and for this one I added I just used normal band I didn't use elastic because I didn't make provision for elastic band so with this we are done with the pant trouser we'll be going over to the booboo top which is the main focus so here is my fabric folded into four as you can see so next is a very simple booboo top so just pay attention here i have 24 inches on fold so this is supposed to be longer than this but because of my the pattern of the ankara that's why i am using 45 inches so i'm going to mark this line out the longer the top the better next i'm going to mark the length of the sleeve so i'm going to mark 15 inches here and i'm going to square this to the end of the fabric like this this is going to be how wide i want my sleeve to be so on this line i'm going to mark 20 inches that is how wide i want the bodies to be so mark 22 20 inches and take it all the way down to the hemline So you note what I'm going to do now from the from the shoulder I'm going to come down 24 inches here is where I want the ruch to start from so from that place I'm going to add half inch all the way down meaning from here I have one inch for my sewing allowance so I'm going to cut this and come in like this and make a curve here for the sleeve so that the sleeve will relax properly so i'm going to cut here come here and go like that so let me just cut it so that you understand what i just said now all i did is to make sure i have one inch 
sewing allowance for my ruching at the side. So this is what I mean. I'll go ahead and cut this open because it's still on fold. Next, I'm going to mark the neck width. So I'm going to mark neck width of three and a half inches. And for the back, I'm going to use one inch and connect it. For the front, I'm going to make it three and a half inches. And connect it like that. Like always, you're going to cut out the back and front at the same time. After cutting that, I'll remove the back so that I'll be able to cut the front. So I'll go ahead and cut out the front like so. As you can see, this is pretty simple. We are done with the making with the cutting of the booboo top. Next is for us to sew this. I went ahead and added facing to the front. As you can see, I made a slit for the front for the top in front. Next, we are going to join the top, the back. So first, I'm going to go ahead and place the shoulder like this. Remember, I didn't do any shoulder sloping. So I'm going to place this like this and sew this here. After I'm done sewing this, this is the sleeve. I've closed the sleeve and also hem the lower part. Make sure you hem this. And then you are going to go ahead and sew half inch here to this place and you start there and make one inch. And then after making that, you're going to hem this. You fold it once and fold again. So you're going to pass the rope into this starting from this to the hemline just pass the rope like so for the sleeve we are going to sew we're adding elastic to this so you're going to hem it like this and leave space for the elastic this is it after sewing it as you can see the strong the string the drawstring this is it after placing it and see how it is nicely placed so this is it after you tie it how it's going to look next you are going to insert the elastic into the casing that you have made so i'll go ahead and pass elastic here guys this tutorial is very very simple although the two piece is very very classy and elegant and guys, with this, we have actually finished with the making of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and tell me if there is anything you don't understand. And I will explain that. But make sure you watch the video well. I'll see you guys in my next video.